Hello, welcome to section 4 of Web Penetration Testing with Kali Linux. In this section, we're going to talk about vulnerability testing and penetration. So we're going to start the discussion with OASP ZAP. OASP ZAP is an open source web application security scanner, which is really designed to be used by anyone, whether they are security experts or they don't have much experience with application security or penetration testing. Before we start talking about OASP ZAP itself and demonstrate it to you guys, we need to change the DVWA security to be low by default to be able to do our vulnerability testings properly. And to do so, we need to modify that page or that file that you can see on the screen and change the security cookie from high to low. So I'm just going to go to my DVWA server. As you can see, I'm on my DVWA server now. I'm just going to modify that particular file. I look for set cookie. And as you can see, it is set to high right now. I just change this to low and save it and exit. So that should be all we need to do on DVWA. So once that is done, now our DVWA should actually be set to low security by default. Now I'm going to move to my Kali machine here and log in. So the first thing that we need to do is just to make sure the connectivity between the two machines is there. So we can't really ping our DVWA machine. So I'm just going to check my network connections here and seems like the wrong network connection is enabled. So I'm just going to enable the other network connection. And as you can see, as soon as I've done that, the ping started to respond. So to run OASP ZAP, we need to go to the menus and you can see within the web application analysis, OASP ZAP is an application there. So you just run the application and you should see basically the application coming up. And once it is running, we can go through a few things and about basics about applications and how it actually can be used to initiate an attack or start doing vulnerability scanning on an application. So this is the OWASP ZAP application. As you can see on the screen, the first thing you can do here, you could just type the IP address of your application and start an attack. So as soon as you do that, an application basically start to be tested by OS Zap and you will see a lot of findings here. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you OS basically works in proxy mode. And if I change this to Firefox and launch browser here, so you can see that basically OS Zap would work as a local proxy on my machine. And if I show you the configuration on my Firefox here, you see that there is a HTTP proxy on port 8080, which is basically the OS Zap. And basically our browser is using that to pass the traffic. So if we just go ahead and connect to our DVWA machine here, so you can see that we could log in. And if I switch to OS Zap here, you see that the site is already discovered and basically you see the URLs are available there and we can see basically what we are browsing. So if I move to different pages, the pages are discovered here. So this is pretty good because obviously if there is an authentication on the website, this would help us to pass through that authentication. So the other thing we could do, we could just right click and start initiating an attack or active scanning. So on that particular address, that particular URL. And as soon as we start that, you see that OSP Zap starts to scan the URLs that it can find obviously on the application. And it would come up with whatever the vulnerabilities are and what are the basically possible issues that it might actually find on the application. So it might take a bit of a time, so it's up to 60% now. But as soon as that is done, you will see all the list of the URLs here. And on the alerts and output section, you will see some reports about things. As you can see already here, there are some alerts about the application. It's just talking about 
directory browser and some vulnerabilities available on the application. So that's basically how you use the OSP Zap to find the vulnerabilities on a specific application.